So on Tuesday morning, the Rockets had two unhappy superstars on the roster, both demanding a trade. And by end of day, they were down to one. Russell Westbrook moved to D.C. for John Wall. But what if the face of the franchise and his request for a breakup? His head coach, Stephen Silas, said he's taking a bit of a hands-off, cooler heads will prevail approach, giving him distance and letting him sort out whether he wants to be in Houston anymore. As we bring in our NBA insider, Brian Windhorst. Wendy, we are three weeks removed from the start of the season. So what's sort of the state of the franchise at this point? Well, we're going to find out, L on Sunday because uh, Stephen Silas basically implied that James Harden has not been there for individual workouts this week. He does expect him to be there uh, Sunday when they start their training camp, but there's been limited communication between the sides since James Harden uh, requested to be traded. And I don't know if this is going to end up being a little bit of a Texas standoff or not, but I will say that the Houston Rockets have put it out there that they are fine with being uncomfortable this season, which is code for saying we're not going to be forced into trading you, James. Let's see how James feels about that. Oh, don't we as the media love it? Awkward. All in. Giannis Antetokounmpo has one year remaining on his current contract, Wendy. He's eligible for a Supermax, but that December 21st deadline is also fastly approaching. So what's the latest on talks between Giannis and the Bucks brass? Nothing but the cool vibes from Milwaukee as I've checked in. Giannis has been in there this week getting to know his new teammates. There is plans uh, for a meeting with owner Mark Lazary in the near future where the contract will be discussed, but nobody seems in a rush. Everybody seems to think it's going to happen. We're just waiting and watching. It's all in Giannis' hands. They do have the benefit of Giannis being very, very vocal about him wanting to stay in Milwaukee. Obviously, anything could change, but in terms of leverage publicly, he has said he is all in there with the Bucks. Brian Windhorst, we do have a program reminder, not that you need to know. 3 p.m. Eastern on the jump, the first look at this year's NBA schedule. Appreciate you, Wendy. When's that schedule? I, I want to look at that schedule with them. That's yeah, we got we got the Christmas schedule already. Yeah. Um, and now we're gonna get the rest of the schedule. So we'll we'll see what where your sons are going. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.